Hey guys, George from Sessor Sampling here and I'm really excited and proud to show you our uh, latest team effort and that's Freya, the next generation female choir library. As you can see right here, I have loaded this uh, instrument navigator inside contact and you'll be able to um, quickly see what's included in the library. So we have three main patches, altos, sopranos and women which are uh, basically like Votan, they are based on our Civil Builder engine so you'll be able to create lyrics with it and play it on your keyboard. Uh, moreover, you, you have um, different options like the Morph and the Connect mode which allow you to create new words and this is really easy, I'll show you how to do that uh, a bit later. Apart from that we have uh, the Allegato, uh, just normal Allegato and slow Allegato for both altos and sopranos the uh, M syllable legato, again uh, normal legato and slow legato for both sections and a mixture between M and A so you'll be able to change between the, uh, the vowels. So I have to point out and this is I think really important that all these patches are polyphonic true legato and I, I would like to straight as um, to say that it's polyphonic so you'll be able to play chords, you'll be able to play uh, different melodies, different different voices without the need to load extra patches and to um, expand your template. You, you just have it inside your uh, contact really easy to use straight out of the box. Okay, so let me start by showing you what the um, true legato patches sound like. So we'll start with the allegatos. As you can see on the GUI here, it's very simple to use. We have three mic positions, close, decker and hole. Uh, you can just map them to different outputs if you'd like and mix them inside your uh, DAW mixer. Um, you have the reverb, legato on off, overlap, this is the polyphonic legato options and releases buttons. It's very simple. And um, so let's first start with demonstrating how all those microphone positions sound like. So I'll turn off the reverb and we'll start with the closed mics. Check them out. And now let's try all of them all together with some reverb, like it's straight out of the box. I'll just turn the volume down of the reverb a bit. Okay, check this out. So this was the normal allegato, we also have a patch which is a slow legato. So this is uh, very suitable for uh, slow romantic, you know, like magical melodies. And of course I personally think that it's great for chords. So um, yeah, check this out and uh, judge for yourself.
as you probably know, all our libraries, um, we usually when we produce them, we start from the sound. So the sound is the most important thing for us. Uh, the same goes with uh, other libraries of ours like Storm Choir, Macabre Strings, uh, the Votan, of course, Rodobe, the Ethnic Choir. Everything starts from the sound. This is our most important thing. So uh, right here in Freya, we want to, to capture something more um, magical. We were inspired by, by all the fantasy films and fantasy games. So we want, wanted to try something that uh, would fit that setting. So um, I think that this is what the Mlegaros are for. I mean, this is uh, something that I personally like very much. Uh, not not only the programming and, and, and the library itself, but the sound of it. So check this out, check the M Legato. And the same go applies to the slow legato. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate some chords. And finally, we have a mixture between the A ah and M legato, which is great for creating, again, um, some atmospheric chords or for morphing melodies. Yeah, just check it out. It's really exciting. Okay, so let's continue with the Soprani uh, legato patches. So again, we have the same amount of patches. We have the A legatos, the A slow legatos, M mm to A legatos, and the M mm legatos, normal and slow. So let's start with the A legatos. I'll just play through all those separately.
Okay, so now let's move to the main content of the library, that's the sustains and staccatos patches inside the Civil Builder engine. So I have loaded, we have three of those, I have loaded them all, we have the Autos, we have the Sopranos, and finally we have a mixed women patch that you can use for both sections. This is the Civil Builder engine that we have introduced with Votan, so um, if you're not familiar with the engine, I will uh, just demonstrate all, all the features quickly. To the left, you have eight syllables that you can, when you click on those, you can uh, write down lyrics. Uh, you have different options that you can control the lyrics, I'll, I'll show you in a, in a bit. And if you'd like, you can always change the syllable uh, with a few clicks of the mouse. So when I play something, It goes through th through with it, performing the so-called lyrics. The buttons allow you to save, for instance, all those uh, like a, like a patch. Let's say test patch. We have saved it, and if I go to the Sopranos and click on load and load the test patch, I will load the same exact um, you know syllables and all the settings inside that uh, will be also saved as well including the key switches and so forth. This button right here initializes, so I can delete everything that, that I have written and start from scratch. And obviously uh, I can insert and delete syllables. Now, uh, you can what you can do is you can uh, use new shortcuts like control plus left mouse button allows you to delete and Alt plus left mouse button allows you to quickly insert syllables. Right here we have the Quick Words browser, which uh, have some, so has some uh, pre-built uh, presets that you can use, and you can always save your own presets. So um, if you uh, come across different, you know, uh, syllables and connections, then you can save them and create your own templates. And at the end, we have this, the settings menu. It's uh, very simple, but I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. So let me just uh, initialize everything and uh, show you the way the, the, the settings are based. So at the bottom, we have the attack of the, of the syllable. We have the release of the syllable. We have the general volume. And at the end, we have the offsets, which uh, right now are auto-based, but you know, I can I can change them if I if I if I want to. Check this out. So this is we we change this from Lu to a basic U vowel, as simple as that with a, just a few clicks of the mouse. Another way to write lyrics is to combine sustains and staccato samples. So uh, if I click on this right here and click staccato, it will change. So I can also click shift plus left mouse button to quickly write down staccato samples. So this is something that we introduced and we are going to also implement inside Votan's engine all those shortcuts to allow you to write music in a, in a faster faster way. Okay, so let's just perform through all of those that they have three dynamic layers. So I'm going to just play a bit. And again, uh, the same as uh, with Votan, we have um, 
made every effort to expand the range as much as possible and I don't think I personally haven't seen any other library that has such low autos. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure about the base profundus with Votan, but with the autos, it's again a very low register, so check this out. almost going into baritone range here, so that's pretty cool and exciting. Another cool feature for, for um, the Seal Builder engine of the Seal Builder engine is the ability to connect and to morph syllables. So the connect mode is when you have two syllables, you can just click once on this circle right here and it will connect them as if you're repeating the, um, the notes. And now, and now everything that's special about the seal builder comes to mind. So uh, you can change the rhythm of the repetition. You can increase the uh, release tail of each of the uh, syllables. So for instance, if I add another one, I can decrease the volume of this one and make something like this. So basically I can create new lyrics. The other, the other way of doing that is using the morph mode. So morph mode is uh, basically a crossfade between all those. So check, the, check them out. And again, I can play, play a bit. And for instance, uh, yeah, of course, that is way too soft. So this is pretty cool. If I go to the women patch, and create some just you know different syllables and move them all together and play different for instance clusters so this will be pretty nice so check this out and again i can i can play a bit with the rhythm so make them longer Okay, all of those. All right. So as you can see, it's pretty useful and you can create thousands of vocal melodies and even atmospheres with just a couple of patches. Another cool thing that we have added inside the new uh, Freya engine and which will be also something that we are going to include in into Votan as well is the new Agile Legato. So uh, Right here you can see that you have three options for legato. It's fast, medium and slow. You need to click on uh, each one of the syllables and then choose the legato speed. The legato is triggered when you press the sustain pedal. By default, when, when you press the sustain pedal, it repeats the same syllable, but now with, with legato. This is why we have another option right here, this yellow key switch. 
uh, when you press this F natural, it always repeats. So let me first add a couple of extra syllables. So you can see when I play. When I press the yellow key switch, the engine stays on the same word. What's the difference between with the, um, the F natural key switch and the sustain pedal? Check it out. It just triggers the vowel. So if I want to play, I now press the sustain pedal. Remember that we have the legato option turned on and now it's all about writing music. So this type of legato can be applied to all of the syllables. Let me just demonstrate. Let me demonstrate with the sopranos. Okay, and let's change. Let's change to let's say more. And slow legato. Okay. If I even add another with, let's say, fast legato, another syllable with fast legato, and then I can play different melodies and by uh, pressing on and off the sustain pedal, I, I can change the legato. Let us also not forget about the staccatos. So I'm going to show and play some of those uh, for you and then I'm going to show you some cool tricks about it. Staccatos are also controlled by the mod wheel, so the dynamics is controlled by the mod wheel only, not by velocity. So these are performed with the natural way of attack, but if you, for instance, tweak the, so let's uh, add the LIA syllable and then change this to staccato, and then I can play around with the uh, offset and thus create some cool effects like this. Da, da, da. 
And finally, some general information about the library. Right here you have the key switches option, which allow you to jump through different parts of the of, of your lyrics, so-called lyrics. So um, it's fairly easy to use. You can see that all those are marked in red at the bottom of the keyboard, starting from A. And then you have like numbers. Each number corresponds to different words. So if, for instance, the uh, F sharp, I move it up, you can see that there's a text at the bottom, assign a word number to this key switch, it's easier to press the key switch first. And it really is, because when I press it, the color will change to, uh, to, to red as well. So when I move, you can see which, which word I would like to trigger. So for instance, I would like to say uh, have room on um, A sharp. So whenever I press A, it will go back to the beginning of the sequence. And if I press A sharp, it will go to room. It's fairly easy to use, especially if you want to make uh, longer lyrics. Now let's finally uh, go to the uh, options pane. You have, of course, the three microphone positions. You have the option to map them to different outputs. Just drag up. Uh, of course, you'll need to uh, map the uh, outputs of contact first. You have the option to disable the microphone positions. So, for instance, if two gigabytes are a bit too much for you, you can just load the deck and mics, and then you have just uh, 600 megabytes of RAM. You have the Agile Legato. You can turn it off if you like. If, if you don't like the way it sounds like, you can just turn it off. You can remove the overlap, the polyphonic uh, overlapping, and the releases. So, by overlap, I mean this. You can hear that there are different syllables. If I play this, it will sound like this. So you have the releases on and off right here, reverb and auto reset to last key switch. This is every time you play, it will, it will go back to the last played key switch. By default, it should be the first lyric. So this is also useful if you want to have the same lyrics performed every time you play. Right here you have the whispers. So these are triggered by velocity, they can be turned off, of course, but you can trigger them to velocity, let's say, 32, and then just by pressing very gently on the keyboard. You can have some effects as well. And finally, if there's anything that I missed, uh, uh, there could be something I missed in this walkthrough, there's a built-in help in the, in the design itself. So uh, you can just go up and, and read everything that you could possibly know about this library. We've tried to make uh, everything as detailed as possible, including some images. So it will be probably very useful for you if you stumble across some issues. Thank you for watching and I do hope that this has been um, as exciting for you as it has been for us. Stay tuned for more info and demos. Cheers.